Is everything okay, Nehemiah? Uh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, Jackie, I just got a lot on my mind. Man, you can't be sneaking up on people like that. Sneaking? Nehemiah, I just got here. You saw me about a half an hour ago. Man, what is up with you? You've been just like distant and like you got a lot heavy on your mind. Now, I don't believe there's nothing going on. Something's going on. Yo, like I said. I ain't buying it, Nia. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. You're right. There's a lot going on. And there's something, something really bad that I need to tell Jazz. Something that I did. Something that's completely unforgivable. Uh, unforgivable? What did you do, Nia? Well, I... I sort of... Well, I sort of... Hey, Jackie! Hey, Nia! Hey, girl! How's the mall? Mm, packed as usual, Jackie. I swear, people... People need to just stay home. Jackie, don't listen to her. It wasn't even that packed, okay? It was a perfect, perfect day. The mall was great. Everything was great. Well, except for that last part. Last part? What do you mean last part? Jazz, what, what's she talking about? What happened? Uh, we ran into a little miss. The world's against me, Brittany. I mean, she came at me with a foul attitude, Jackie. I mean, I've been trying not to be nice to her and be her friend. And try to be a friend. And she came with this cocky attitude like she wanted to challenge me. I mean, I don't know what the hell's her problem. But she's really getting on my nerves. Really? What did she say? Just a whole lot of nothing. Nothing important, that is. You know what? She can, she can do what she wants, as long as it don't involve me. I'm through with her. Point blank, period. I am through. Man, I'm sorry about that, Jazz. Man, I just don't under, I don't understand why Brittany be tripping. Man, I miss the old Brittany. I just don't get her. Yeah, babe. I'm sorry. Yo, I'm sorry that you're going through this. You know, don't worry about her. She's a lost cause. It's her loss. She lost on a good friend. Thanks, babe. Um, isn't there something that you say you want to talk to Jazz about? Something important, Nia? Oh, yeah. You said there was something important to tell me, Nia. Yeah, that was the reason why I came home early. So, what's going on, babe? What's going on? Uh, oh, you know, uh, well, it's not really important, you know, like, important, I'm sorry I made a big deal out of it, uh, but I'm gonna be, um, I, I'm gonna be out of town for a couple of days, you know? I gotta visit my mom and pops, you know? And, uh, I, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, me, you gotta go? Uh, well, maybe I should go with you, babe. Uh, no, no, it's, you know what, it's no point you coming, because, um, it's a private family thing. Not, not that I would love to have you come visit my family, and they would love to come see you, Jazz. But right now, it's just, we got a lot going on with my mom and pops. But I promise you, next time, it will be me, you, and my parents. Uh, uh okay. Okay, if that's what you want, Nia. Yeah, babe, it's... I'm sorry it's only a couple of days short notice, but, you know, I kind of need to get this, get this straightened out. I'm glad you understand. Like I said, I promise we'll make a trip with my parents, okay? I love you. You do know that, right? Uh, of course, Nia. Look, I I'm sorry I'm being sounding selfish and all. Look, you do what you gotta do, okay? And... I love you too, and I know you love me, alright? But I am going to admit, I'm going to miss you hella much, so get back soon. I will, babe. Thanks for understanding. <sighs> well, okay, well, I'm going to take Kimmy home. Monica, you coming with me, right? Yep, besides, I got to take Kenji home anyway. I am going to see you 
on later on tonight, right? Before you leave? Of course, babe. Always. I'll be here. Hmm. So was that the important news that you had to share with Jazz? Cause something tells me that wasn't. And then something tells me something big is about to go down. Nia, do me a favor and don't be keeping secrets from Jazz. Yo, Jackie. I don't know what you're talking about. It's nothing like that. That was it. I just had to go visit my folks. Look, you're just blowing it out of proportion, okay? I just knew Jazz was going to be upset that, you know, that I was leaving again. But look, that's all it is, and I'm not, I'm not keeping secrets from Jazz. I wouldn't do that to her. I swear, Nehemiah, if you hurt that little girl, I swear to God. Look, Jackie, I know you're her good friend and all, and I, I understand that you're looking out what's best for her, but she's my girlfriend. And whatever we're going through, we're going through together. You don't need to be worrying about what's going on with me, between me and Jazz because it's between me and Jazz. And there ain't nothing going on. All I'm saying, and I'm warning you, stay out of it, Jackie. I mean it. Stay out of my business. I'm coming, sheesh. Hello? Oh, hey, Duncan. What, what's going on? What's the news? Well, I just found out that the judge has made a final decision a bit earlier than we expected. Already? Wow. Do you think... Do you think the judge is going to side with me? No. No. If he's, if he's already made a decision this early, then William's definitely going to get Kimmy. What? Sandra, you need to calm down. Look, if the judge does decide to go in favor of William, then we will appeal, and keep appealing until Kimmy is home with you. I just need you to know. Okay. Thank you, Duncan. So, so when, so when do we see the judge? This Thursday, at 12.30 p.m. Just have faith, Sandra. Can you do that for me? Yes, Duncan. Yes, I, I'm. I'm gonna have faith, and I'm. I'm gonna stay strong and keep my head up. I ain't gonna let this down. <sighs> it's all in God's hands. Thank you, Duncan. I'll see you Thursday, okay? See you Thursday. You know, Monica, Kimmy is so happy when she's around Mama. But you know what? I just wish this whole thing between Mama and Daddy and this Brenda woman is over with. Man. Kimmy doesn't deserve all this. I hope Mama gets Kimmy and everything is put back into place. Oh, somewhat. It's, it's going to work out, Jazz. Trust, it's going to work out. Kimmy, Kimmy's going to be where she belongs, with your mother. And your dad, you know, he may have powerful friends and he's got a good job. But in the long run, he knows Kimmy needs to be with her mother. Point blank, period. You're right, Monica. I don't know why I'm tripping. Uh, Monica? Can I ask you something? Something's been kind of bugging me. Bugging you? Like what? What's going on? I know I may be... I may be way off, but... Something tells me that Nehemiah is hiding something. Maybe, maybe I'm just tripping, Monica. But you know... I'm just getting that... uneasy feeling. Am I tripping? Well, why do you think that, Jazz? You think he's lying about him going visiting his parents? I don't know, Monica. I just know... He's been acting... He's been acting unlike himself. I don't know what's going on. I want to trust him because he's my man. And if I say something to him, then he's going to think I don't have no trust in him. Well, maybe you should ask yourself this question. Do you trust him? Let's get this over with. Oh, Nehemiah. Why so glum? I promise. 
I'll make it up to you. This whole weekend, you're going to wish you never, ever met Jazz. Make sure you lock the door. I'll be waiting for you in the bedroom. Don't keep me waiting. Please forgive me, Jazz. Thank you.